Hello everybody, welcome to our lesson. Today's topic is the magnetic field of a loop. This is the goal of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, you'll be able to describe and calculate the magnetic field of a loop. Now before we start, let's do this demonstration. We have a loop which has at around 15 turns and iron fillings located in an oil. And let's connect a loop to a source of electricity and see what happens. Wow, that's beautiful. What do we see? The iron fillings are located aligned the magnetic field lines. And we see that at the center of a loop we have straight lines and as we go to a side the lines are curved. Now, can we explain this? Why is this happening? A loop is actually a straight wire which is wounded. And examining the direction of the magnetic field produced by a current carrying segment of wire shows that all parts of the loop contribute magnetic fields in the same direction inside the loop. Electric current in a circular loop creates a magnetic field which is more concentrated in the center of the loop than outside of the loop. So that's why we see this kind of picture. This is magnetic field lines of a loop. And for a circular loop, the right hand rule is used in the following way. Curl your fingers in the direction of the current and your thumb will indicate the direction of the magnetic field. Now let's talk about the factors affecting the strength of magnetic field. There are two factors. First, the magnitude of magnetic field is directly proportional to the magnitude of current through the loop. And the magnitude of the magnetic field is inversely proportional to the radius of the circular loop. So it means that if you increase the current through the loop, you'll get more magnetic field strengths at the center. And if you increase a radius of a loop, the magnetic field will be decreased. Now, at the center of a loop of radius R, the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the loop. This can be found by a right-hand rule. Often, the loops consist of n turns of wire that are wound sufficiently close together that they form a flat coil with a single radius as shown in the picture. The magnetic field at the center of the loop is n times greater than the magnetic field of an individual turn. For such a coil, the magnetic field at the center of the circular loop is given by this equation. And in this equation, n, it means number of turns, mu0, it's a permeability of a free space, i, it's a current through the coil, and r, it's the radius. So this equation is similar for a magnetic field of a straight wire, but this equation can be used only to find a magnetic field at the center of the loop. So basically you can use this equation for example to find the magnetic field at this point and other points. Well guys, this is the end of the lesson and if you like our video, please subscribe and share.